certainly did do their homework. Well, the local police come up with it, they? Well, they did manage to get a cast of the car's tires, but that's all. Oh, I did find these by the school gates, Turkish cigarettes. Not very usual these days. Not really, Cunningham. Parents from all over the world send the boys to that school. Now, what really worries me is they very nearly got away with it. And if the right boy had been taken, our government would be blamed. Exactly. With a half-term break upon us, that boy's going to be left rattling around that school and grounds all on his own. Easy target, far too risky. No, from now on, he's got to have close protection for 24 hours a day. I quite agree, Sir George. Glad to hear you say that, Cunningham. Pick him up tomorrow. He's all yours. But, Sir George, this is the first break I've had since my marriage. I've already hired a cottage for the whole family. Oh, splendid, splendid. Well, one more won't make any difference at all, then, will it? <laughs> Hello, Greggy Tops. Oh, Bill, couldn't you have said no? Well, yes, I suppose someone had to do it. I know I was hoping we could have some time on our own. No, I do understand. I'm just being a bit selfish, that's all. Still, the main thing is we're all going to be together as a family. And what time will you be here? Good. Well, you take care. And I love you too. Bye. Come on then, Kiki. Sort out this dirty washing. I thought you said you had very little. <coughs> uh, sorry, Aunt Ellie. It just sort of grew. Yes, it has. I have Was it Uncle Bill on the phone? Trust you to change the subject, Jack. Yes, it was. He would have been here by now if he was on his way. Oh, no. Does that mean the holiday's off? No, nope, the holiday's still on. Only there's been a slight change of plan. It's just that Bill has to take charge of this boy during the holidays, so he'll be coming with us. Which boy? Why? Is there something wrong with him? No, of course not. And then why is he coming with us? Well, I don't know. You have to ask Bill when he gets here, then you'll find out. Exactly, Phil. Girls are so impatient. Can we eat now? Well, you know where the kitchen is. It must be near a quarry. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find little Brockleton. Here, yeah, let me. No! If I can't find it, you won't be able to, will you? Do you know Brock means badger? Not many people know that. Well, they mainly come out at night. I've always wanted to study them. They're very clean and particular in their habits. They don't sound a bit like you, Philip. <laughs> oh, nice one, Lucien. Sometimes wonder if they ever feed you at school. Now then, when this boy arrives... Oh, you haven't even told us his name yet. Uh, no. Well, his name is Gus. <laughs> Gus. It's a perfectly good name. <laughs> now, listen, how would you feel if you were called that? <laughs> I changed my name. <laughs> yes, but what's he like? Well, I don't really know, but I expect he'll be absolutely charming. <laughs> No, no, no. I will not lie down under that blanket. I refuse. Listen to me, young man. You'll either do as you're told, or I'll have to bundle you in there myself. We can't have you being seen leaving the school. Very well. But later I shall make the protest. Fine, you do that.
<laughs> I found it! I found it! Where? There, and you said I'd never find it in a million no, years. Anybody can find it on a large scale map like that. Well done, Lucia. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's actually nothing for miles around. Except millions and millions of badges. There'd probably be knee deep in them. Oh, I wouldn't fancy that. It's Uncle Bill! <laughs> Welcome to Craggy Tops. What's going on? Bill! Gus, I'd like to meet the whole family. This is Philip, Lucianne, Jack, Dinah, and Ali. Hello, Gus. Very pleased to have you with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you all. Come on inside. Right, cases you lot. He's not English, you see. We've got more to say with us. We've got a lot We're still going on holiday. Ah. First things first. <laughs> Hello, Kiki. How are you? What is this? How does it work? Oh, Gus, don't pull up. I told you not to fire it. Now look what you've done. Philip, what nuts going on? Oh, my best rugby shirt. It was not me. Oh, yes, it was. Who do you think you are? Royalty or something? Yes, I am Prince Aloysius Grimondi Resamoli Torquinol of Tauri Hesia. Gus, you promised not to say anything. I am sorry, Mr. Bill. Sorry, Mrs. Bill. You mean you really are a prince? Now, look, it's very important that you keep this to yourselves. Otherwise, Gus could be in very great danger. Gus's uncle is a king, and there are people in this country who wish to depose the king, kidnap Gussie, and install him on the throne. It's up to me to prevent that. And we're hiding him. Unreal, Prince Gus. Fussy Gussie! Fussy Gussie! It's this bird, it speaks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it speaks all right. <laughs> According to the woman who works in the local shop, their name is Cunningham. Four kids, two girls and two boys. You have done well, Jones. What else did you find out? He works in the city. Away quite a lot, but on holiday now. She's a painter, got a gallery in town and used to be a nurse. Mm, a nurse, you say? You've thought of something, yes? Everything is falling into place. A few telephone calls, and the prince is ours. Good. So you have a plan? Oh, yes. When do we move? Tomorrow night. It'd be a good idea if you all had a picnic on the beach while Bill and I, well, well we got everything sorted out here. Yeah? That's a good idea. No, it's not. Lucy? Well, I don't see why we all can't. Great idea. Give us a chance to show Gus around and we can do some fishing. OK, but don't go too far and make sure you keep Gus inside, OK? We will. Come on. What was all that about? I'll tell you when you're older. I'll have forgotten what I wanted to know by then. Uh, Gus? Uh, yes, Mr. Bim. I think you've forgotten yours. Oh, silly me. Taking off early, no, so we should get there around midday. Well, because. Because I'm not a donkey. Of course you're not, Gus. Who ever heard of a long haired donkey? You must not speak like that to a prince. Well, Your Royal Highness, let me put it this way. Unless you want to go hungry, you better stop complaining and keep up. You see, now, of course, I'm feeling guilty. And I'm supposing it rains. Don't worry, Ali. They're quite capable of looking after themselves. They proved that often enough in the past, haven't they? Yeah, I suppose so. How's your phone call? Well, Sir George says it's all gone remarkably quiet. 
Sounds a bit ominous if you ask me. Are they still there? Yes. And the prince. And none of them have any idea that we are here. Exactly. That is why we must act fast. Yes. Understood. Don't worry. I've got everything laid on for tonight. Lunch! Oh, thanks. Thanks. Come on, Kiki. Oh, time for tea! It's all right, Gus. You're just scratching behind the head like this. So sure. Well, come on, Jack. It'll be the perfect opportunity. Uh, That's the time that you see foxes, and there'll be plenty of night birds for you to study. Yes, but what about leaving Gussie? He will be safe in a house full of people, won't he? By that time, he'll be snoring his head off. T T T. You have this one, Kiki. Jack, she could cook up a fuss and wake everyone up. Oh, very well. Come on. But not a word, do you understand? Shush! Shush! Yes. Big shush. Right. Come on. Now what? Teaching Kiki to say God save the king just to annoy Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Won't do the light any hard to have his legs fall down again. No. Who announced for? Well, we be better find out. Please, can you help? There's been a, a bad car crash down the road. We'll come straight away. I'll call for an ambulance in the car. Beauty, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, great. Right, pull over here and get out. Everything go to plan? Smooth as silk. Naturally. Now, can we please get this over and done with? Soon the power will be all mine. <laughs> what was that? Probably the owl we scared finding its dinner. I think I'm gonna go back. So soon? I'm a bit tired. Okay. I'll just go around the quarry, be back in five minutes. Okay. Come on, Kiki. You can practice your owl noises. <laughs> Load 
loaded. Nonsense, Your Highness. Not only will they be company for you, but they will provide excellent hostages should the need arise. Enough talking. Get them out of here. What about the other one? Forget him. You never get away with this, you know. No, I think congratulations are in order. A well-planned and highly successful operation. I still think we should have waited and got the other boy. Relax, my dear Count. What can one small boy do? Hold still, I think I can reach the knot. Back. Better be. I told him not to start Kiki. up until we got here. Who's this? Oh, it's Kiki. Who is this Kiki? He's a policeman. Fetch him! <laughs> hurry! Hurry! That way. If Kiki's here, help Cappy oh, Far away. Let's hope you're right. Find him! Hold on, Kiki. They didn't see you. Now's our chance. Over there. Do you expect the cavalry to come right into your rescue? No, that only happens in books. This is real life. Yes, it certainly is. you soon find out that the British government will put a stop to your little game. Not when they find out when we are holding three such delightful hostages. Your government will say nothing and do even less. Johns, get them into the helicopter. Stop it! Leave me alone! Get your hands off me! No keys. Next stop, Borkham Castle. Just the really want. Then let them have him. I just want my children back. I'll call the police. Very thorough. Now what? 
A long walk to the nearest fawn. Stay here, please, though. No way. And I don't care if you have to drag him out of bed. The first person I want to see is Sir George Houghton. Dashed awkward business, this Cunningham. Awkward? That's hardly the way I would describe it. I really did think if there's one person who could protect that boy, it would be you. What? At the end of the day, I'm the one that's going to have to face the music, there'll be questions asked in the house. As far as diplomatic relations between this country and Tory Hesse concerned, could be an absolute catastrophe. I'm afraid you've put this government in a very awkward position, Cunningham. I don't believe this. Listen, Sir George, it is you who have put my children in a very awkward position, as you so neatly put it. You knew the danger, yet you insisted this prince come and stay with us, and now my children have been kidnapped. So tell me, Sir George, what exactly are you and the government going to do about it? Mrs Cunningham, losing your temper is not going to help. Well, it helps me. Believe me, my dear, I do understand, but you must have... Excuse me. Yes? I see. What time was this? And in what direction? Thank you. That was the Air Ministry. Seems that at 0320 hours, an unidentified helicopter was picked up on radar crossing the English Channel and heading in a southeasterly direction. It could only be headed for one place. Terry Hassier. That's the other boy. How the hell did... Falcon? Do you want a lift? Yes, please. Now we've got it. 